A man with a police helmet beating up protesters, this on the sidelines of the traditional May Day protests in Paris. The man walking away is Alexandre Benalla, an aide to none other than President Emmanuel Macron. The president's chief of staff had granted authorization to Benalla to go and observe the protests alongside police. Violence aside, even disguising oneself as a police officer is a criminal offence, liable to three years in prison and a fine of 45,000 euros. Fast forward to July 23rd at the opening of a parliamentary hearing on the incident. According to the Interior Minister, this is what he knew the day after. It was not until I got back from lunch early in the afternoon that during one of our daily briefings, my chief of staff informed me of the existence of a video showing acts of violence during May Day protests. He said that Alexandre Benalla had been identified as taking part in the violence. He then told me that he had informed the Paris police chief and that he had brought the case to the attention of the office of the President of the Republic. President Macron was in Australia at the time and reportedly told his staff to deal with the incident appropriately. May 3rd, Macron's chief of staff, Patrick Stroder, wrote this letter to Alexandre Benalla. Your behaviour has damaged the exemplarity that is expected at all times from agents working with the office of the President. As a consequence, I have decided to suspend you from your duties for 15 days, starting on the 4th of May 2018. Suspended, but not fired. The Elysee Palace also demoted the employee. Yet, newspaper Le Monde says Benalla was given an apartment in central Paris early July. He also still had a chauffeur-driven car and security clearance to the National Assembly. Over two and a half months after the incident, Le Monde identified the supposed author of police brutality as a presidential aide in disguise. Two days after the explosive article, the Elysee Palace fired Benalla the same day he was questioned by police. By the end of the week, Benalla was placed under formal investigation for assault, interference with police work and impersonation of a police officer.